Uh, hello everybody, hope you're all fine, happy and healthy. In this video, I'm gonna explain and step by step, I'm gonna show you how to use uh, SEO Press plugin, which is a very uh, good plugin for the search engine optimization. Uh, we are going to use the SEO Press, the Pro version actually. So it will cover the free version if you're using or the Pro version. Uh, it will cover everything. Just make sure to watch the video till the end and don't skip uh, any part. Then everything gonna be clear. Uh, this is a website from uh, Blackhawk MSP. Actually, this is uh, the company which I'm working for as the L1 and L2 tech support. This is based in California. Uh, I've been asked to fully optimize uh, this website. Uh, by the way, this is a computer support. Uh, uh, internationally anytime if you needed uh, remote support just go to this website and uh, get the uh, remote support uh, here we are talking about the SEO press plugin uh, this is the plugin which uh, I'm going to use to optimize uh, this website uh, it has a free version it has a pro version here we are using the pro version it is really really a good one and it is really uh, cheap reasonable this is the cost is 39 us dollar per year and it is for unlimited website so you can use it if you compare it to another uh, seo plugins like yours it is much cheaper uh, by the way there is another tutorial about yours seo you can watch that i will put the link in the description if you are using yours and in here specifically we are using seo price uh, if you are willing to buy the full version for the SEO price, I will put a link, a referral link in the description. Now you can use that link to purchase the plugin. I will get some commission and you will get some discount. And thank you for that. All right, uh, without uh, further ado, just let's jump to the plugin. Um, I go to the dashboard and I have already installed the plugin. Uh, when I go to the plugins, let me scroll down here. You can see we have the SEO Press uh, and SEO Press Pro. Uh, you need to install both of them, the SEO Press and SEO Press Pro. In this one, you can just simply add the plugin and search. And this one, uh, the SEO Press Pro, after you purchase, you need to download and upload it uh, right uh, from here. Add plugin and upload. All right, so we have already installed and we have the option here. Let me click on that. Okay, we need to set up. Just click on get started. There are some settings you need to set up. Okay, in here you can import uh, some SEO settings from another website, from another plugin. For now, uh, we are just clicking next. We are not importing any SEO settings. In here, these details are used for the to create uh, the Google Knowledge Graph. Uh, if you don't know what is the Google Knowledge Graph, well, let me search, for example, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft and Google. The, uh, this is the Google Knowledge Graph for Microsoft. Knowledge Graph can be for the company or for the person or uh, for the company and person at the same time. So uh, there's another video, the link is in the description and also here. Uh, you can watch that. That is about uh, how to create Google Knowledge Graph uh, using uh, some WordPress plugins. It's a very good one. Uh, I strongly recommend to watch that if you are interested in uh, creating your Google Knowledge Panel. So this is the details you need to fill, the separator. And is it a company or an organization? This is of course an organization or a company. This is the logo, your logo and uh, Facebook URL, the Twitter account. Just fill all the details and click continue. Okay, indexing, uh, which data, which kind of data to be uh, available on a search engine. So if you want to no index any of them, you can just click no index. And uh, in here, we just leave the way it is. In here we have some uh, options like, for example, do not display the auto archive in the search engines, no index. Or for example, you can remove the category from the permalink and also the product category. Just uh, go through, most of them are self-explanatory, and click continue. 
Inside is an atom, a premium atom. Uh, it is mostly used for the backlink tracking and also for the keyword tracking and stuff. So I just skip this part. Alright, it is ready. Uh, we'll talk about the sitemap XML and HTML sitemap later. Click here with the dashboard. Uh, okay, so after the dashboard, let's go to the second option which is title and metadata. In here you set up the metadata and how your pages, your blog posts appear on the search engine. Uh, you can select the separator. Let me search for this company, Blackhawk MSP. Uh, this is uh, the Blackhawk MSP. You can see this is the separator and this is how it looks when you search on uh, Google. So uh, here, basically, you are setting up how your website should look uh, when someone is searching on, and also the post type you set it up. Just follow. For example, uh, if you share the post, how it will look. The post title, then the separator, and your site title. This is uh, a very common structure. And the meta description, of course, the post excerpt. Do not display the single post type uh, on the search engine. In here, you can uh, know in this. You can just uh, hide some of the posts or the pages. And let's go to archive. In here, you can uh, set up uh, or know in this the archive pages, like for example, uh, 404 page and the taxonomy. You can set up how the taxonomy specific category or tags uh, should look uh, on the search engine. And in advanced option, you have uh, to customize the metas for uh, uh, different pages. Just read them and uh, customize the way you want. For example, add a no index meta robot for all the attachment pages, add the no index meta robot for all the pay paginated archive pages. And yeah. So let's go to XML and HTML sitemaps. We have the HTML and uh, XML sitemaps. XML sitemaps is used for the search engine and it is very important and uh, it gives a clue, it gives a structure from your website to the Google, to the search engines. So uh, enable that one. And we have also the HTML sitemap which is good. Uh, for the users, for the visitors, it doesn't have a lot of things to do with the search engines, but uh, it's good for the navigation uh, when a visitor visits your website. From here, you can click. Uh, uh, this is the sitemap, your external sitemap. Uh, ping Google. It will just uh, ping Google and somehow informing Google. Okay, we brought some changes to our uh, to our external sitemaps and to our SEO settings. And let me go to post types. Uh, this is uh, what you, uh, what kind of post types you want to include or exclude uh, in your sitemaps, and what kind of the taxonomy, the tags, or the categories you want to include. Uh, when you go to social networking, in here, uh, these are the details which is used for the Google Knowledge Graph. As I at the beginning, I explained about the Knowledge Graph. You can watch the video there, and you can fill all the details here and then your social accounts if you're on facebook or twitter you just put all the links here and uh, in here you set up the facebook open graph and the twitter card so just go through and set up uh, the open graph first we need to enable the open graph and select the default dmh and we are not setting here that one right here and we have the analytics. Analytics gives us the privilege to integrate the third party uh, tracking tools with our website. For example, uh, let's say the Google Analytics, we have the Matomo. There are a lot of tools like uh, Monster Insights. Uh, I put the link in the description. That's uh, how to connect your website with the Google Analytics and uh, how to set up the Monster Insight. Uh, enable Google Analytics tracking. This is already enabled. We have uh, entered the tracking ID. And in here, you can exclude and include a specific users to access the uh, analytic details on Google Analytics or Matomo. On the tracking tools, you can just uh, track a specific data from your website. Uh, this is the Google, uh, at, uh, Google Optimize and the Google Ads. Uh, these tracking tools, uh, these tracking options uh, is only available on, uh, uh, on this SEO Press plugin. 
uh, many of the other ACO tools like yours and the all-in-one ACO uh, doesn't have this option and specifically you can add uh, different kinds of tracking codes uh, for your website in the heading, body, footer so okay for the e-commerce if you're using e-commerce in here we didn't enable the uh, e-commerce and the events, specific events you can track, uh, for example, the download, the uh, upload, and the uh, affiliate links. So you can track from here, you can enable all this server. Uh, the custom dimension, these are the things that uh, Google automatically doesn't track. From here, you can uh, uh, add them and you can track them. Status in the dashboard is just uh, when you connect uh, your website to the Google Analytics. Uh, then you get all the statistics on your dashboard uh, and we have the cookie bar and GDPR from here you can select where the cookie bar should be displayed mostly footer uh, is uh, the good place and request consent request users consent for the analytics uh, tracking uh, so for the specific regions uh, you, uh, this is a useful tool and we have the Matomo. Matomo is like Google Analytics, just a tracking tool. You can just enter the tracking ID. You can create an account in Matomo, or you can enter your tracking ID and you can just connect here. You have the Google Analytics, and that's okay. Then you go to Advanced option. In here, you just uh, optimize, for example, the image. Uh, I strongly recommend to optimize all your image. So you give the name, a specific name, clear name, and most importantly, give the alt text. Uh, let me go to library and show you how does it work. For the image, just uh, make sure you give a great title, which is clear and understanding, and also give uh, a short explanation that's about the alternative text. Uh, it's very important for the optimization. Just make sure to give a clear name, title, and alt text uh, for all the images that you import. Uh, okay, so in here, redirect attachment pages to the post parent. Uh, so check this one. Uh, when someone uh, see a picture from your website, when uh, he or she clicks on that picture, then uh, it will redirect to your website. And this the second option is if you check this, then uh, the visitor will be redirected to that specific file URL, not your website. Just uh, don't check this. And uh, you can check this stuff automatically, set up the image title, automatically set up the image alt text. You can check this, but uh, I strongly recommend you to do them manually. It will be uh, uh, good for the search engines. We go to advanced option. And most of the things uh, we just explained when we were setting up at the beginning. So, for example, you can remove the category from the URL or remove the author URL and uh, remove the website code from the comment. Uh, this is the Google Site Verification when you connect your website with the Google uh, Search Console. Uh, I'll link video in the description how to link your website with the Google Search Console. We have already linked that. So if your site is already verified by the Google Search Console, uh, we can leave it empty. This is the Google Search Console. You can see this is the website. It's already linked and verified. And you can just uh, verify and link your website with the Bing, uh, Bing with the Pinterest, Yandex. There are also the search engines that you need to consider. And uh, when we go to Appearance, uh, from here, you can just uh, select which SEO or press features and settings to be appeared uh, uh, in your backend. For example, if we remove SEO from admin bar, this is the SEO button from admin bar, it will be removed. Just scroll down and see which uh, settings you want to uh, appear on this or disappear from your admin panel. You have the security. From here, you can give access to specific people to access the meta box for the SEO press then we go to tools uh, tools this uh, gives you the privilege to integrate uh, uh, SEO press with uh, different kinds of page, page builders for example in here compatibility center uh, this feature will be deprecated soon it means uh, SEO press does not support this feature anymore 
Uh, however, so it's a good feature that you can enable, the, you can check the compatibility with the, any page builder you're using to build your website. For example, DV is a very common one or WP, WP Bakery that mostly developers are using it. Uh, data you can import uh, the CSV files uh, if you have for the, uh, for example, from another website. If you set it up and uh, you can bring all the settings here and you can import here. Uh, the uh, search engine uh, settings. Uh, in here you can export and import uh, the settings for the plugin. Uh, from the plugin, uh, here you can, if you are using yours, all in one ESU, these are the very common uh, and some other ESU tools. If you have used before in some other websites, you can uh, import the uh, settings here. Redirection, in here you can set up uh, the redirection, uh, for example, for the 301 or 404 uh, year errors. And reset, you reset uh, all the settings for the ACO, press. In here, in Pro, we have some Pro tools, you can just go on and check one by one. For the local business, you can give the details of the address and stuff structured data or the schema it is just uh, 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 let me explain it somehow another way seafoods for example uh, let's just scroll down and uh, in here you can see this is the exactly a uh, uh, unstructured data or schema you can see it has the reviews uh, the delivery it will take from this restaurant if you order the seafood or whatever it will take around 45 minutes this is uh, the schema or structured data so if you have a specific uh, kind of data on your website you can search uh, uh, you, you can set up from here uh, bridge cramps is just used for the navigation uh, uh, for now mostly uh, it's not used in the industry we have the woocommerce settings uh, you can enable if you have an e-commerce store uh, you can no index the specific pages uh, so they will not be available on the search engine and the easy digital download uh, if you have the digital product to be downloaded in here pages to inside so you can set up just uh, follow the things and uh, ht access uh, uh, these are the settings i do recommend not to touch them if unless you are professional and you know what you're doing. Uh, you can edit this stuff from your C panel as well. Uh, when we move on to the schema, I just explained the schema. You can create a specific and structured uh, type of data for your website if you have. And the redirection when a page is missing or a URL is missing, so you can set up here. We have the broken links, uh, all the broken links will be here. If you have, for example, hundreds of posts or thousands of posts, blog posts. So uh, in some time when you update the plugins and stuff, some of the links might be broken. So you can just find them here. The license for the ACO Press Pro, it is a pro version and the license is uh, here and it is active. And we have the bot. Bot is just running a scan for your website to uh, uh, find the broken links. So these are all of the features. We had an overview about the ACO Press plugin. The next video will be about how to use uh, ACO Press for the on-page optimization. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon uh, in order not to miss uh, any of our videos. And uh, yeah, for today it's enough. Uh, thank you very much. Hope it was useful. Comment below if there is any issue, any problem, any suggestion or objection. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Have a good time.